Yep. We're gonna tire him out. This guy's, this guy's way too strong for even all of us. In the world of reptiles, crocodiles are known for their impressive size. There's something awesome and kind of charismatic about crocs, and we can't resist the biggest and baddest crocs out there. <laughs> These beasts have barely changed since the age of the dinosaurs. It sort of seems like if it ain't broke, don't fix it is evolution's attitude towards crocs. That said, every now and then, nature throws up a real giant. From jaw-dropping lengths to astonishing weights, these behemoths have left a lasting mark in the annals of natural history. Join us as we uncover the 20 largest crocodiles ever recorded. <sighs> Number 20, 18-foot crocodile. In Matara, Sri Lanka, an 18-foot long crocodile weighing around a ton was recently discovered in a canal. The National Department of Wildlife confirmed that this massive crocodile is one of the largest ever found on the island. Wildlife authorities successfully captured the crocodile and released it into the Nilwala River. Although impressive in size, this crocodile is not the largest ever recorded in Sri Lanka. Near Vala Chennai, there was once a crocodile measuring around 32 feet from nose to tail. This enormous creature had a notorious history, having attacked and over 18 individuals. The local government authority even offered a reward to anyone who could eliminate the scaly threat. Despite numerous attempts by skilled hunters with powerful rifles, it was eventually by an unknown person. Crocodiles have fascinated humans for centuries with their enormous size and predatory nature, and this was a real beauty. Let's be glad he was set free in a new river home. Crocodiles might have a bite to them, but our content is sure to make you smile. So, show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Time for the rare topic. In a daring mission, this massive crocodile was reportedly captured in Thailand. The story goes that a fearless guy managed to apprehend the enormous reptile and show it to some astonished onlookers. The crocodile was seen tied securely to the roof of a bus, and the man actually rode on top of the crocodile as the bus moved through the town. The guy claims this is the largest crocodile in history. The details surrounding this remarkable event remain a little uncertain, with many questioning the authenticity of the image. Was this a daring act of bravery or a carefully orchestrated spectacle? How did the man manage to capture such a colossal creature? As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know what you think about what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 19, Jaws 3. Jaws 3 is a famous saltwater crocodile, and he found refuge at the Madras Crocodile Bank at just two years old. Now in his 30s, he's grown to an impressive size. Jaws 3 measures around 16 and a half feet in length. Known for his strength and power, breeding programs have struggled to find a suitable female that can handle his size and vigorous approach to romance. Jaws 3 is a prized resident at the Crocodile Bank. These crocodiles have an impressive lifespan of approximately 70 years. Although Jaws 3's growth is expected to halt at the age of 30, he'll continue to develop in overall size. The Madras Crocodile Bank plays a fantastic role in conservation efforts for endangered crocodile species. They provide a safe space for crocodiles like Jaws 3, where they thrive in a protected environment. For all their awesome power, crocs like Jaws 3 are often under threat from human activities. Visitors to the bank can check out the awe-inspiring size and power of Jaws 3, but from the safety of the viewing area. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest living reptiles on Earth, with some reaching lengths of over 20 feet. They're known for their incredible predatory skills and their adaptability to both saltwater and freshwater habitats. Number 18, Gomek. This salty named Gomek was captured by George Craig in Papua New Guinea and later acquired by Terry and Arthur Jones. In 1985, they brought him to Ocala, Florida, where he resided for five years. Eventually, Gomek found a new home at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park in Florida. During his time at the alligator farm, Gomek became known for his impressive nutria tossing skills and his tolerance of people. 
Despite being a giant predator, Gomic showed an unusual level of docility. Visitors were allowed to approach him within just one meter, without any fear of attack, a situation that would typically be considered very dangerous. While Gomex Feeder still used long tongs to deliver his meals, he was widely regarded as a tame crocodile. His gentle demeanor endeared him to both the staff at the alligator farm and the people across the nation. Gomek became famous and a popular prominent figure in the world of crocodile conservation. His size and temperament changed how the public felt about crocs, and he raised awareness about the conservation needs of his species. Gomek's legacy continues to inspire efforts to protect these incredible reptiles. Number 17. Brutus Brutus is an 80-year-old crocodile, weighing 2 tons. He once again became the center of attention after being photographed with a bull shark caught between his jaws. This sighting gained major international media coverage and turned Brutus into a reptilian celebrity. And he showed that age is just a number when it comes to wrestling bull sharks. However, this is not the first time Brutus has captured the public's attention. Back in 2011, photographs of him surfaced showing his massive size as he lifted his two-ton body out of the Adelaide River in the Northern Territory. During a jumping crocodile tour, Brutus made headlines as he enjoyed a meal of kangaroo meat. This scene left spectators amazed. Over time, Brutus has become an iconic figure in the Adelaide River region, and he's a popular attraction for tourists wanting an encounter with these big crocs. Number 16. Yai Yai is a hybrid crocodile, known as an estuarine Siamese. He resided at the Samut Prakan Crocodile Farm and Zoo in Thailand. Reports on Yai's length vary, ranging from 18 to 20 feet, but even at the shorter measurement, it makes Yai a massive croc. Either way, we know Yai is larger than Cassius, another famous giant of a crocodile. The Samut Prakan Crocodile Farm and Zoo, operating from 1950 until its permanent closure in 2020, was famous as one of the world's largest crocodile zoos. It had an impressive collection of 60,000 crocodiles and boasted the claim of housing the world's largest captive crocodile, Yai. Yai weighed approximately 2,456 pounds. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic and the subsequent decline in tourism led to the closure of the zoo in 2020. As a result, the facility entered liquidation in 2021, marking the end of its long-standing operation. At this point, the fate of the 60,000 crocs at the zoo is still in the balance. Crocodile farms and zoos play a role in conservation efforts by breeding and studying crocodiles. However, some crocodile farms have faced criticism due to concerns over animal welfare. Questions have been raised about the conditions in which the crocodiles are kept, their treatment, and the methods used in harvesting their products. Number 15. Bujang Sinang Bujang Sinang was another massive saltwater crocodile, this time from Borneo. Local sources considered him to be a man-eater, with reports of attacks spanning several decades. Believed to measure a truly gargantuan 25 feet in length, he was a source of fear and fascination for all who lived in his kingdom. Some Iban people in Sarawak believe the legend of the ferocious giant crocodile, Bujang Sinang, originated from a cursed human transforming into the vicious creature. According to an old myth, the original form of the crocodile was a heroic Iban warrior named Simulangan. Simulangan's prowess was evident during the headhunting era, with many enemies falling victim to his skills. His invincibility was attributed to his magical powers, which made him immune to weapons. Due to his exceptional abilities, enemies of the warrior kept his wife to seek revenge and forced her to reveal her husband's secret of invincibility. The brave man then confronted the enemies to save his wife. However, Simulangan's wife was speared to immediately after being released, triggering the warrior's rage. It was then that the enemies discovered Sima Lungan's one weakness when they realized that he was vulnerable in the water. Despite fighting fiercely, the Iban warrior was killed by his enemies, and his body was left to sink in the waters of the Batang Lupar River. According to the myth, the bodies of Sima Lungan and his wife were then cursed to become giant crocodiles by a god, and these transformed creatures began terrorizing the descendants of their around the Batang Lupar area. 
The transformed crocodile eventually became known as Bujang Sinang and instilled fear in the residents living near the Batang Lupar River, as it was believed to have consumed over 14 Iban people since the 1940s. The Iban community regarded Bujang Sinang not as an ordinary crocodile, but as a crocodile king ruling over all the crocodiles living along the Batang Lupar River and the entire Rajang River. What's even more peculiar is Bujang Sinang had distinct white markings on its back, which are not found in other crocodile species. Although the giant crocodile was believed to have been active in the 1940s, Bujang Sinang gained serious attention when it devoured a man named Pengalu Bangan in 1982. Bujang Sinang continued its rampage, and between 1982 and 1991, it was believed to have claimed 13 more victims. The peak of Bujang Sinang's ferocity occurred in May of 1992, when it snatched its 14th victim, Deyang Anak Bayang a 20-year-old Iban girl. He snatched her up as she was crossing the Pelaban River with her mother. Enraged by the incident, dozens of Iban villagers and the police hunted the crocodile. After tracking Bujang Sinang for about four hours, the ferocious crocodile was cornered, but attempts to kill using spears and conventional bullets failed. An Iban shaman then suggested using iron spikes as ammunition, and following this advice, approximately 40 shots with 10 centimeter long spikes were fired at Bujang Sinang. Finally, the reign of the Crocodile King came to an end. But the legend of Bujang Sinang as a giant crocodile in Malaysia continues to be remembered until today. Number 14, 2,500 pound croc. We leave Malaysia and we head to Niger, where a colossal crocodile measuring approximately 22 feet in length and weighing around 2,500 pounds was recently captured. This feat was achieved by a man named Steve, an experienced hunter with extensive knowledge of these creatures. And before you get your hopes up, no, it's not Steve Irwin, RIP. We love you. Steve's expertise in hunting has led him to encounter numerous man-eating crocodiles, often observing some of the largest specimens. He believes that man-eaters display distinct behavior patterns compared to other crocs. They exhibit boldness while maintaining a wariness towards hunters. Unfortunately, the circumstances surrounding the capture of this particular crocodile did not allow for an accurate measurement. However, various estimators place its length at over 16 feet. The Nile crocodile, which can reach immense sizes like the one captured in Niger, is one of the largest crocodile species in the world. They're known for their size and strength, with males reaching lengths of up to 16 to 20 feet on average and weighing between 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. These apex predators command respect in their habitat. They're capable of taking down large prey with their powerful jaws. Number 13, Lapu Lapu. Lapu Lapu is known as the largest crocodile in Cebu. This scaly giant gained a lot of attention for its impressive size. The massive reptile holds the title of being the third largest saltwater crocodile in the Philippines. After a satisfying feeding session, Lapu Lapu can usually be seen taking a well-deserved rest. The exact measurements of Lapu Lapu have not been disclosed, but it's estimated to be a truly massive creature. Just take a look at him. Crocolandia Park is a popular wildlife conservation and educational park located in Besong Talase City, Cebu, Philippines. It's known for its collection of various reptiles, particularly crocodiles. 70-year-old Lapu Lapu, named after a native chieftain from the Mactan Island, is one of the star attractions. While crocodiles are the main attraction, Crocolandia Park also houses various other reptiles, including snakes, turtles, lizards, and monitor lizards. Visitors have the opportunity to see and learn about different species of reptiles and their importance in the ecosystem. The Philippine crocodile is a critically endangered crocodile species that's endemic to the Philippines. It's one of the rarest and most threatened crocodile species in the whole world. They inhabit freshwater environments like rivers, lakes, marshes, and swamps in the Philippines, particularly in Mindanao, Palawan, and the Sierra Madre mountain range. Number 12. Crocodile caught in a drain in Malaysia. This massive crocodile, weighing nearly a ton, was discovered in a drain in Malaysia. The enormous reptile is believed to have become disoriented due to storms and heavy rain. 
Local residents were startled to find the crocodile thrashing around in a drainage channel near St. Edmund's schools in Limbang City, Sarawak. In an attempt to subdue the aggressive creature, fearful residents shot at the crocodile, but it was still alive when it was later removed. Fire and rescue officials utilized a forklift truck to haul the crocodile out of the drain and onto a truck. Unfortunately, despite emergency treatment by veterinarians from the Sarawak Forest Service, the crocodile, estimated to be about 80 years old, succumbed to his injuries and Zulkipli Mohammed, the chief executive officer of the Sarawak Forestry Service, explained that the decision was made to euthanize the crocodile due to the severe head wound it sustained. An investigation was conducted to determine who shot the crocodile and the reasons behind it. Despite their ancient lineage, crocodiles have remained relatively unchanged for millions of years. They're considered living fossils. Their longevity and resilience make them fascinating creatures to study. Even though they can be intimidating, it's best to let professionals handle a situation like this, as there was no need for this croc to end up passing away. Number 11. Cassius Cassius is claimed by some to be the world's largest crocodile in captivity. He was raised on Green Island, Australia. This mighty beast is known worldwide for its impressive size and weight. Cassius measures 17 feet and weighs approximately 2,200 pounds. Cassius is estimated to be over 110 years old, making him one of the oldest known crocodiles in captivity. He was originally captured in the Northern Territory of Australia in the early 1980s, and he's been thriving ever since. His longevity is all down to the exceptional care and habitat that's provided to him. Oh my god! Oh my god! Green Island, located in the Great Barrier Reef, became a popular tourist destination largely due to Cassius's presence. Visitors were blown away by the sheer size of this ancient creature. Cassius has had quite a journey throughout his life. He's been captured and relocated multiple times due to his large size and potential threat to humans. Despite these relocations, he's adapted well. He continues to do well in his current habitat. Cassius has been described as having a relatively gentle temperament. He's known to be quite calm, and he interacts peacefully with his caretakers. At 110, I think it's understandable that he might take things a little bit easier in life. Number 10. 18-foot saltwater crocodile. Residents of Tawi Tawi in the Philippines made headlines when they captured this 18-foot saltwater croc along the coastal shores of Simuno. The capture took place on October 14th of 2020, and it was a major news event. This massive crocodile, measuring 18 feet in length, drew attention on social media platforms. The local people showed a lot of courage and skill in capturing the reptile. Saltwater crocodiles inhabit both saltwater and freshwater environments. In Simuno, they can be found in mangrove swamps, coastal areas, and rivers. Mangroves provide an ideal habitat for crocodiles, as they offer protection, food sources, and suitable nesting grounds. It's a three-in-one. The indigenous communities in Simuno have developed traditional practices for capturing and managing crocodiles. Oh my God. These practices have been passed down through generations, and they're based on a deep understanding of crocodile behavior and habitat. Crocodile capture has served as a means of livelihood and sustenance for the people of Samuno. The crocodiles they capture provide meat, skin, and other resources that are utilized by the whole community. The Philippine government has implemented laws and regulations to protect crocodiles and their habitat. These measures aim to balance the needs of the local communities with the conservation of the crocodile populations. Number 9. Dominator Crocodile Dominator is a salty known for his impressive leaping ability. With a length of over 18 feet and a weight of approximately 2,000 pounds, this badass predator loves to defy expectations by propelling itself out of water. Although Dominator has never undergone an official measurement, experts reckon its size is probably around 20 feet. This massive crocodile resides in the same territory as Brutus, the Adelaide River in the Northern Territory of Australia. Saltwater crocodiles, also known as salties, have the strongest bite force of any living animal. It's been estimated that their bite force can exceed 3,700 pounds per square inch. 
To put this into perspective, a saltwater crocodile's bite is way more powerful than that of even a great white shark. Number 8. Lolong Back in November of 2011, crocodile expert Dr. Adam Britton measured a saltine named Lolong in its enclosure. Dr. Britton confirmed that Lolong was the world's longest crocodile ever caught and placed in captivity. At least, that's been officially measured by an expert. Lolong measured a length of 20 feet and 3 inches and tipped the scales at 2,370 pounds. This gargantuan crocodile was captured in the Agusan Marsh in the Philippines in September of 2011, after it was reported to have attacked and killed several villagers. However, Lolong's captivity was met with controversy, as animal welfare advocates had several concerns about the conditions of its enclosure. Nevertheless, the big crocodile became an iconic figure in the Philippines. Lolong became a top tourist attraction in Bunawan, Agusan del Sur. Tragically, Lolong passed away on February 10th of 2013, just a little over a year after his capture. The cause of its death was suspected to be stress-related, as the crocodile had difficulty adjusting to captivity. Sounds like those concerns about its conditions were spot on, unfortunately. Number 7. Gustave Gustave a large male Nile crocodile. It's become notorious in Africa for being a man-eater. Oh, now I'm wondering if I picked the wrong tone when I said his name out loud. He was rumored to have killed hundreds of people in the areas where he roamed. While the exact number of victims is difficult to confirm, Gustave has achieved a near-mythical status and instilled some serious fear among the local population. The crocodile was given the name Gustave by herpetologist Patrice Fay, who's been studying and investigating him since the late 1990s. Much of the information known about Gustave comes from the documentary film Capturing the Killer Croc, which was released in 2004 and aired on PBS. The film shows an attempted capture and study of Gustave, and we learn about his behavior and habitat. Gustave's size and power have contributed to his reputation as a dangerous man-eater. Despite numerous attempts to trap or even kill him, Gustave's managed to evade capture and continue his reign as a notorious man-eating crocodile. His elusive nature and survival skills have made him a real enigma in the world of crocs. It's now estimated that Gustave is over 60 years old, which is pretty impressive considering the average lifespan of a Nile crocodile is about 45 to 50 years. Number 6. Tripod Matt Wright, the renowned star of National Geographic's popular TV show Outback Wrangler, is well known for his extraordinary profession. As a crocodile wrangler, Matt's primary role revolves around the removal of large and troublesome animals, particularly crocodiles, from areas where they pose a threat to human safety. Instead of resorting to traditional methods of eliminating these creatures, like by shooting them, Matt's dedicated to finding alternative habitats where they can peacefully coexist without causing harm to people or being disturbed themselves. One notable resident under Matt's care is Tripod, a gigantic crocodile measuring a staggering 17 feet in length. The name Tripod is derived from the fact that this extraordinary reptile only got three legs. Despite his disability, Tripod shares a seemingly amicable relationship with Matt. However, this seemingly friendly crocodile has demonstrated its power by biting a visitor, resulting in severe injuries. Crocodile attacks pose a significantly higher risk to humans compared to shark attacks, with statistics indicating that crocodile attacks are, on average, over 100 times more lethal. On the bright side, having tripod roaming around the yard provides an unparalleled level of home security for Matt. After all, you can't be too worried about a burglary with such a formidable creature on guard duty. Number 5. Big Daddy Standing proudly along Mombasa's Lynx Road in the affluent Niali estate, an impressive sculpture of an 8-meter-long crocodile captures the essence of the 44-year history of the Mamba Crocodile Farm in Mombasa. Spread across 17 acres, this farm is home to a legendary crocodile named Big Daddy. A man-eating behemoth that's believed to be over 110 years old and recognized as one of the oldest crocs on the planet. As an elder statesman of the crocodile world, Big Daddy has witnessed the passing of time and experienced numerous changes in his environment. And yet, he just keeps on going, like a real croc father 
Big Daddy is among the 12,000 crocodiles raised in one of Kenya's largest crocodile farms, established in 1972. Crocodile farming has emerged as a lucrative venture in certain parts of the coast region, although it's not without its challenges. One of which is Big Daddy's appetite. Big Daddy was responsible for the deaths of five individuals in the Tana River before being relocated to the Mamba Crocodile Farm. His aggressive nature is evident, with some crocodiles sporting broken jaws and other missing their tails as a result of his attacks. The farm encompasses 21 ponds, each measuring approximately 50 by 100 feet, which serve as habitats for the crocs. One of these ponds is dedicated to Big Daddy, where he resides with his two wives, both aged 35 and 40 years. Over the course of 44 years, the farm has successfully domesticated these deadly reptiles, turning the enterprise into a profitable venture due to the ever-increasing demand for crocodile skin. Number 4. Cries, the Savannah King Cries the Savannah King is a famous monument in Normanton, Australia. It's a representation of a massive crocodile. The unfortunate crocodile met its end when it was shot by Christina Paulowski in July of 1957 on MacArthur Bank in the Norman River. However, there is some confusion regarding the authenticity of the photo associated with Cree's The Savannah King. Some sources claim that the original photo was taken in 1914 off the Roper River in the Northern Territory. Unfortunately, due to floods and the passage of time, the original copies and records have been lost, leaving behind an element of mystery surrounding the true story of Kreese and the capture of the largest croc. Whatever the truth is, this crocodile statue is truly impressive. Number 3. Henry Henry, a massive Nile crocodile, holds the distinction of being one of the world's largest and oldest of his kind was a crocodile terrorizing a local tribe in the Botswana Delta. Weighing over 1,500 pounds, he lives at Croc World, South Africa, where he shares his habitat with six female crocodiles. Over the years, Henry's proven to be quite the prolific breeder, having fathered an astounding number of offspring, more than 10,000 babies. Henry arrived at Croc World back in 1985. At that time, he was already 85, and he recently celebrated his 122nd birthday. Croc World, the home of Henry the Nile Crocodile, is also an educational facility dedicated to raising awareness about crocodile conservation. Located in Scottsboro, South Africa, Croc World gives visitors the chance to learn about Henry and all of his companions, and there's a lot of them. Number 2. Kalia Kalia, also known as the Dark One, was an enormous saltwater crocodile from India. This legendary reptile gained notoriety as a terrifying man-eater that haunted the region for approximately 50 years. Its reign of terror came to an end in 1926 when the renowned hunter prince Rajendra Narayan Banjadeo of Kanila successfully Kalia in the Damara River in Batar Kanika National Park. Although reports suggested that Kalia measured around 25 feet in length, it wasn't until 2006 that the skull of this massive crocodile was officially measured by Rom Whitaker. The skull was an impressive 27.7 inches long and had a width of 18 inches. These measurements make Kalia's skull the third largest crocodile skull ever recorded, confirming that this beast was likely over 20 feet in length. The Bitar Kanika National Park, where Kalia roamed, is not only home to crocs, but also a habitat for numerous other wildlife species, including migratory birds, spotted deer, and Indian pythons. It's known as one of the country's most important mangrove ecosystems. Number 1. 30-foot-long croc In the area surrounding Lake Tanganyika, a string of mysterious disappearances left a community in fear. Initially, these cases were attributed to tribal conflicts, or even the work of a serial And in a way, they're kinda right. The true culprit behind these tragedies is a colossal crocodile, believed to be approximately 30 feet long and nearly 100 years old. This massive predator is thought to be responsible for a staggering 200 human to address the escalating danger, a daring rescue mission was launched with the objective of capturing the giant crocodile and relocating it to a safer habitat. But this croc was too wily, even for this team of experts. They failed to track the croc down, let alone capture it. 
And so, the area around Lake Tanganyika goes to sleep at night with the uneasy feeling that this monster's lurking in the darkness. Lake Tanganyika is the second deepest lake. It's home to some really interesting fish, including unique cichlids found nowhere else on the planet. From the immense size of Lolong to the legendary man-eater Gustave, these crocs never fail to astonish us. Which of these huge crocodiles amazed you the most? And what do you find most fascinating about these prehistoric predators? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.